Hey guys, this is Ryan from Spiker Workshop, and I wanted to do a quick kind of build series slash overview slash review on this um, really awesome kit that I bought. Um, if some of you guys haven't heard, this this is the the UC6 from Cross RC. They're a Chinese-based company. They've been around for quite a few years now, actually. Um, in my other videos, I have a truck I bought from them about two and a half years ago. Actually, let me quick show you that. This is something else that Cross RC has done. This is their 8x8 truck. And this, this is about two, two or three years old now. And the company's come quite a long way since this truck. I did some modifications and stuff to it also. Like I made a battery box for lipos on each side. And some of my other videos I have, I sell different 3D printed stuff. You guys should check out my other videos. But um, yeah, I was going to do kind of a step by, well not step by step, but like uh, my progress while I'm building this kit. As you can see, I already got quite a ways into it. And I thought I would show you guys if anyone was looking at buying this kit, um, so far I would definitely recommend it. Um, it it's, it's pretty awesome. Here's the instruction booklet. Um, it's pretty easy to follow. It's pretty much the same as like a Tamiya kit. Um, on their website it says it's in Chinese, but it's, it's actually not. It is in English, and it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow. And, um... Here's how far I got. Basically assembled all the axles and the frame and stuff. But I've built uh, Tamiya kits in the past and I've had uh, an amazing, enjoyable experience with this so far. Just the quality of parts. Almost everything here is all metal. And some of the plastic parts aren't ABS. They're like a slightly flexible plastic, which actually it makes it awesome because any stress that's put on those plastic components like for example the whole rear bumper assembly this is a slightly flexible plastic but it actually makes it really tough because say you're towing something it sounds weird being flexible but it has some give in it so nothing nothing feels like it'll break like it'll just flex and bend and kind of take any force because even their hooks are like cast metal. There's just so much to this kit. It's amazing. Uh, aluminum guard over the transmission, all metal drive shafts it comes with. And the like the leaf suspension. They actually made it look realistic, but not all these are metal. They use just enough metal pieces to give it like a realistic suspension to it and the rest are plastic, which is pretty cool, I thought. And um the the axles are all steel. They actually came packaged in their own box, which was pretty nice. You can see on the picture what it looks like on the inside of the axle. Um, I had to open them up and put grease in them though. They didn't really have very much, but I think that's kind of standard for most RC. And, um, let's see. I really liked how they designed the servo mount on the front. The steering stuff's actually in the front, but the the leverage of the arm is really unique. I've never seen that in another RC before. But as it goes over bumps and stuff, the linkage stays out of the way of everything. And on their previous 8x8 truck, the servo actually would hit into the axle. I know even on some other trucks, or just normal one-tenth scale trucks, the same thing happens. But on this, just the way they mounted the servo, everything's like out of the way. It's really nice. And they, they started just a couple detail works um, before I get to the actual body. But it's cool how they use really small hex screws. Um, makes it look really scale, and even these hooks are cast metal. And yeah, overall, I am loving this kit so far. 
so I'm not sure what, here's the, the box for it, I think it's upside down, but the, the quality of parts that are in this kit are kind of mind blowing, because the previous truck that they came out with, you just put together kind of sheets of plastic, but this, they invested, you can tell they put a ton of money into creating molds and stuff. Um, this truck, it's basically like a gigantic model kit. It's not even just a scale, or that's not even just an RC truck. It's like super detail. Like on the inside, here's the seats. Um, they even have molded dashboard, which is pretty awesome. Um, just the quality of these parts. It's like a gigantic scale model basically like I'm I'm super impressed with how much they actually put into this even the the door panels I paged ahead on the instructions they come with little tiny um, window levers to roll the windows down like that's the inside of the door panel and there's the outside so it's like a full interior and everything here's some of the bigger parts but I can't wait to start putting all this stuff together. They even have a... Um, they have a fake V8, or I'm not sure what this truck actually has in real life, but I think it's a V8. But they have a, a scale engine that you put under the hood, because the hood actually opens up on this thing. Um, just the amount of detail. I know, like, none of the Tamiya trucks have this kind of detail. They're in my opinion, they're kind of blowing Tania out of the water. Um, this, this is all just for the cab. It's kind of crazy. And, by the way, I have no affiliation with Cross RC, but I've just been this impressed, so I decided to make a video about it, in case you guys were deciding to purchase it or not. Um, I definitely would. And it also comes with a spare tire, because on the actual truck, on the back, there's a spare tire. Uh, speaking of the tires, these are all like real beadlocks. They're all steel. Each tire was like five or six separate components. Like, there's the normal um, screw for the, the mount. And then they have like an O-ring sealed cap that goes over it. And then on the inside, I don't know if you can see that, there was like a cast block that you screwed together over two um, like pressed steel, like I'm not sure all the terms for these, but th like these are all actual screws. It, Ten bolts took forever to actually assemble the wheels, but they're they're airtight. They don't. They, there's foam in there and an aluminum locking ring on the inside. I mean, they're they're pretty beefy things. Um, it took it took almost an hour to do each wheel. That was probably the most most time intensive part of the whole build so far. And the spare wheel they came with is actually um, different. These are how the wheels were on the the eight by eight truck that I bought from them. These are I think are just plastic, but considering it's just a spare tire, I'm I'm kind of glad they did that so you didn't have to assemble another beefy one, you know. This whole bag of parts, this is what actually makes up the back of the truck, like this part here. This is how their previous kits came. It's like CNC cut, just um, sheets of plastic, and you, you have to use ABS glue to glue them all together. Um, but they, they did that again on the, the flatbed, just because it's pretty simple shapes and stuff. But even in this, there's, there's a huge amount of parts. I think some of these parts, you can make a speaker box. Because it doesn't come with the sound system, but it did come with a speaker. Which was kind of cool, I guess. And it, it also came with something I've never seen other companies do. It came with a whole light kit. 
that is like custom built for this specific truck. Um, all the lights, all the lights on this truck have their own um, PCB circuit board. Like the actual arrangement of the LEDs is the shape on the truck. So you don't have to install each LED separately. It's like a almost like a plug-in, which is pretty cool. Like even for the top three lights, I mean it's it's really cool in my opinion. And then there's a like a control unit. Um, I think I think it matches like when you use the throttle, the brake lights turn off and stuff like that. But this came with the kit. And I used most of the hardware already, but I sorted them out in my own bins here. But yeah, it's just normal screws I came with. And this was pretty awesome. I came with a whole bunch of really miniature hardware. Um, all little miniature brass hinges, because even the doors on this thing open. Um, I've never seen any other kit come with like such a vast amount of just different parts. I just can't wait to get to building that. And, um, I'll make more videos as I go through and you know do each component. But I, th I thought I would just kind of do this this really brief overview of the whole kit. And I, I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> we got the clear lenses for the headlights. And the uh, windows are masked with a plastic film over them. So I'm, I'm not sure how that assembly goes yet. But I think you can install them and then paint the whole cab and then take the film off and stuff like that. Rubber mud flaps and mirrors. It's just a, a great kit, I gotta say. And as I continue with a couple more videos showing you um, the, the more progress, I have plans to do my own conversion on it, similar to what I did on the 8x8. I actually put a 3 speed Tamiya transmission, just like the semi trucks use, in the 8x8. And I plan to do that with this. Because this is the gearbox it comes with. It came with the motor and the gearbox in the kit. Which I I used this before on my 8x8. And it's it's decent. But it's it's a fairly low speed because it's pretty geared down. But I didn't actually, actually have any issues with it. I just wanted to convert over to the 3-speed shifting transmission. But I have to finish building the whole truck to see if I have enough room to put it in. But I did already buy it. The components separately for that. Um, I bought there's a, a guy on eBay I think it was Semi Truck Joe or something I bought the, the Tamiya transmission from him and then from China I ordered they have a like a helical gear upgrade for those so I plan to put all this in this truck and then to go along with that I had to buy also the transfer case and two drive shafts these are from a SCX 10 and I had to also buy a just a mount because when I did the 8x8 I had to use I think I had to use two drive shafts just to get up to the transmission but this one might be different actually I probably only need one since the 8x8 was so much longer so yeah I'll be busy for a while Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing this, check out the links in my video, because I bought this through a seller on Amazon, and it was it was really good. So if you guys want to buy one, click on the link, and you can purchase one through his Amazon. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated with another video shortly of when I start working on the cab, and I might make a quick video of me driving around just the bare chassis like it is. And uh, if anyone was wondering, I'm going to be running it on um, just a normal LiPo. And I don't actually have a speed controller for it yet, so I'll have to figure that out. But anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think. So have a good one.